Aya is an African Adinkra word, which means one who recreates himself. The Aya Fiber Studio is my recreation from being a construction professional to becoming a full-time artist. Hi, I'm Suzanne Connors from the Aya Fiber Studio and welcome to my studio. I am a traditional Japanese textile artist and I specialize in shibori and indigo dyed fabrics. I went to college to be an architect. Shibori just kind of came naturally because of the layout and the drawing. A lot of my patterns are done on a drawing table. I use my triangles and straight edges to draw the patterns and I create all these different patterns that you see here. I do different types of shibori, katazome, echo printing, make products from the fabrics that I create, and hold a lot of classes for students to come and learn how to do these techniques too. So shibori patterns are all created using various resist techniques. For some patterns, you would stitch them. For others, you will fold and pleat them. Others are just tied, twisted and tied, um, but then in the end they're all put into the indigo dyes. Katazomi is done by using a resist and you actually use a rice paste that you resist through some hand carved stencils that you spend hours and hours carving and then you put it. Um, this particular piece right here is a peach that's been hand stitched so you have to lay it all out and do all the stitching with your needle and thread and then I start to tie the threads off. One of the things about indigo is, is that because it takes um, multiple dips to get it dark, you can start and you can see on this little strip, one dip might be really light, two dips, three dips, four dips, five, and as they go deeper and more dips, you get a darker blue. So I'm gonna start with this piece and I'm gonna dip it down into the vat slowly. And I'm gonna, while it's in, I'm gonna give it a, just a little bit of love. I'm gonna give it a few gentle squeezes, kind of work the indigo into the fibers. You see when it comes out, it's green. And it's green because the air has not oxidized the indigo yet. As it sits for a few minutes and it reduces, this is going to turn blue right before your eyes. It's kind of magical. I can see that I've got some white inside, which is what I want to happen. And then I might want to give it another dip. So I would go back down into the vat again and do this up to 10 times. It can take a really long process. So now's the, the most exciting part of the whole process, the big reveal. It's kind of like opening a present on Christmas morning. You, you think you know what you're gonna get, but you're not really sure until you're all done. Ah, look at this. Well, I'm really happy with this piece and I'm sure that the person who comes in and purchases it, it is going to love it. A piece of really traditional dyed indigo fibers. I look forward to seeing everybody during the Martin County Open Studio Tour and also during the rest of the year I'm in the studio Monday through Friday all day and by appointment on the weekends. You can drop in anytime, even if a class is in session, come in check and see what everybody's doing, and we'll see you at, on the tour.